Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you how to make these icons on Canva. So if you go into Canva, you can search iOS icon at the top and it brings up a whole bunch of prefabricated designs. And what I like to do is just find one that kind of goes with the colors that I am uh, hoping to accomplish with my uh, setup and then I pick one of those. So I'm going to start with this one mostly because it's blank and that's less stuff I have to delete. And then what you do is go into the elements and if you have Canva Pro, you can search for ones that have editable colors. So this is the Google um, Drive uh, icon, and then you can go in and change the colors of each of the stripes to get that bicolor design or tricolor design in this case. So then you just kind of play around with it until it looks the way that you want. I like to change the background color so that it is um, a little bit lighter. And usually I make the background color of the icon the same color of my iPad screen background, home screen background, so that way that the icons look um, transparent. So then you do the same thing um, for all of the icons that you want to install on your home screen. I don't like the way this looks. I'm gonna go back and change that and then move on to Google Chrome. So I'm gonna look for a Chrome icon and I'm gonna look for one that has colors that I can edit. So one quick tip, um, it takes a while sometimes to find the ones that you can edit. Now you can edit a solid color like this, but if you want multiple colors, then you have to get the ones that have the ability to edit each individual color. Um, so one tip, once you find one that allows you to edit the color, what I like to do is to um, go back into that icon in the elements and tap those three dots and it will tell you who created it. And then you can choose see more or view more by that creator. And then the odds are um, better for you to find ones that have editable um, color palettes. So once you get done with that, you can um, go in and edit the colors for those and you just kind of repeat the process for all of the different icons that you want to put on your home screen. So one quick tip for icons like Photoshop or um, Illustrator, this one has a um, black background. So first I changed it to white and then I decided that I wanted it to look transparent on my iPad home screen. So all you have to do there is change the white to the same background color as the icon and it will appear transparent on your home screen. So that's what I did for the Photoshop one and also for the Lightroom one. Um, for the Amazon one coming up, I just changed it to brown and left it. I didn't feel like searching for one with a different color palette. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. Once you're done, you wanna copy the hex code for the background color so that you can color match that. Go back to your home screen, create an A4 size design, or at least that's the size I use for iPad Pro. I don't know about the other sizes, um, but basically uh, a letter size or A4 size, and then go in to the colors and tap plus and paste your uh, hex code in there. So now all of those icons that you just made with that same background are gonna look transparent on this, which you're gonna use as your iPad background. So you download both and then install them.